Now that we've examined the nodes, what we're going to do now is take out the, the organs. So I'm going to make a, a deep incision just about the level of these nodes here, just at the base of the mandible. Make a deep incision, run it along the mandible. Do the same on the other side here. Get a hold of this flesh, cut through the frenulum and take the tongue out. Just using the flat the knife here, just gently take off the, uh, the mucus. So that there, and just have a look at the tongue and make sure there's no oscillation. No other lumps and bumps about there. It looks okay, tongue looks perfectly normal. And if I pull this back here to the hyoid bone, we can see the, the tonsil. The tonsil in the sheep is a palatine tonsil, so it's, um, it's not as obvious as it would be in a dog, but you can see the little flat area just in here and on this side here as well. And uh, that's your tonsils. Just in there, if I give it a cut, you can see the, the tissue just in there. These look perfectly normal. I'm just going to take a, a cut down onto, from the thoracic inlet here, down onto the trachea. Make a midline incision here and just reflect the, the muscle back in both sides. So we can see trachea, esophagus running down in here and also our thyroids. And uh, take this down a little bit further here. We can lift this up and we can see thyroid on this side. You can see it just there. And the thyroid on this side here. They're usually just slightly darker than the, the muscle around about them. They're usually fairly easy to see. They should be fairly prominent than they are in this case. What we'll do now is cut down onto the hyoid bone and I'm looking for the joint in the middle of the hyoid bone. You can see it just in here, where the, uh, the cartilage is, so I can cut through it fairly easily in the, in the laminar size. Make an incision either side of the base of the hyoid bone here and we can take larynx, trachea and just take everything back towards the thoracic inlet. At this point, we want to have a look at our retropharyngeal lymph nodes. And if I just do a little bit of dissection here, we can see the lymph node here. I'll just lift it out. You can see it's quite a large node. You should be able to find it fairly easily. And again, if we put a, an incision through it there, you do see that it is slightly enlarged, slightly wet. And again, an indicator that this is an animal not in great condition. Same on this side, and we can see the wood there.